Hey guys, welcome back to Flix Recap. My name is Luke and today we're covering the 2018 comedy Duck Butter, the movie about two girls who experiment living together for 24 hours straight in an attempt to not repeat the fate of their previous relationships and fast forward through the new relationship to check whether they're compatible together or not. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to Flix Recap if you dig the breakdown. And as a quick reminder, this video contains spoilers, so you have been warned. The movie starts with our lead, Naima, waking up in her apartment. Naima gets up, dresses up for the day, and drives to the set. Naima is a film actress working on a film about a man coming out to his spouse that he's gay. Naima has a hard time emotionally connecting to her character who has to respond to a friend coming out to them. The same scene has several takes over and over again, but Naima struggles to get it right. At lunch, Naima sits down with the directors, Mark and Jay, and tries to cover up her mistakes by placing the blame on her other co-actors. Mark and Jay politely point out Naima's lack of vulnerability with her character and try to make her understand that she does not need to get defensive and instead should look into where she needs to put in more work. Later in the night, Naima drives her friend Ellen to a gay bar for her date. While waiting for Ellen to return, Naima turns to the stage where a girl named Sergio is performing a song. The performance is eccentric and Naima is quite amused by Sergio. After Sergio's performance, Naima decides to take a seat at a table of old ladies and join them for a chat. Naima tries to bog the ladies down with climate change, even though they clearly do not like Naima's pessimistic approach to life. That is when Sergio sneaks in on the conversation and asks Naima for a dance. Although a little hesitant at first, Naima gives in to Sergio's insistence and joins her for a dance. Naima relaxes a bit in Sergio's arm and the two enjoy each other's company. After the dance, Naima decides to join Sergio and her friends to go to Sergio's home. Naima, Sergio, and her friends arrive at Sergio's place. All of them have a relaxing time together. They eat, sing, and talk until it's too late, and Sergio's friends have to leave. Everyone leaves except Naima, then it is only her and Sergio. The two of them keep on talking on different topics until talking turns to touching, and before they know it, Naima and Sergio are canoodling. After they get done canoodling, Naima and Sergio get up to get some snack. While they gobble down some chips and juice, Sergio tells Naima the story of her ex and how she wasted three of her life with her only to break up in the end. Naima jokingly mentions that people should just live together for 24 hours straight to see if they're compatible together. It is then that Sergio suggests spending 24 hours together so they can fast forward to see whether they're compatible together or not. Naima is uncomfortable with the idea and so turns it down with the excuse of work before quickly grabbing her things and leaving. The next morning, Naima is still hooked on Sergio's proposal and so she discusses it with Ellen. Ellen suggests simply taking the relationship slow instead of rushing into it to see its future. While Naima is processing the idea and getting in her car to get to the set, she gets a call from her manager. Naima's manager tells her that Naima has been replaced for the role. Naima is devastated by the news as it was her first big job. In a rush of emotions and having to be with someone, Naima goes to Sergio and tells her that she's ready to go ahead with their 24 hours plan of spending time together. Naima makes sure not to tell Sergio that she only came to her after she got fired. Sergio is still pissed from the previous night. Sergio tells Naima to come around the house as she's working in the backyard and then shuts the door on Naima's face. Naima comes to the backyard and finds Sergio doodling. Naima tries to apologize for leaving in a hurry and tries to make up for her behavior. Naima tells Sergio that she's afraid of actually loving someone. Sergio is understandable and makes Naima promise to not run away again. Naima promises and the two of them start their 24 hours together. In the next couple of hours, Naima and Sergio talk, sing, create art, and canoodle in an attempt to explore life together to the fullest. Over the course of the night, Naima is enchanted by Sergio's free and adventurous spirit, but she also gets uneasy when Sergio gets aggressive and wild beyond what Naima has in mind. The conflicts in her feelings for Sergio keep Naima on the verge of the two extremes of the emotion spectrum. Lack of sleep, too many activities, and canoodling every hour gets to Naima, and she starts to feel sick. 
Sergio thinks it's because of her, but Naima tells her that she got fired that morning. The news does not sit well with Sergio as she now thinks that Naima only came to her after she got fired. Sergio is hurt and tells Naima to leave. Instead of leaving, Naima stays there and waits for Sergio to calm down. After Sergio has angrily changed the sheets, the two of them engage in lovemaking to make up for their argument and move past the first bump of their 24 hours of life together. With more time passing, the two of them open up about their parents. Sergio reveals that she's close to her mother, whereas Naima tells Sergio that she does not bond well with her mom and rather is closer to her dad. Sergio suggests a practice where the two of them should express their repressed, angry feelings towards their mothers so they can heal. Naima agrees. Once they're done and the air clears, Sergio tells Naima that her mother is coming to watch her showcase performance. Since Sergio's place is a mess, Naima suggests hosting breakfast for Sergio's mom at her place. Sergio readily agrees. Okay guys, quick pause to remind you to comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. On with the recap. In the morning, Naima drives in her car and Sergio follows Naima to her house. Sergio is mesmerized by Naima's big house that her father has gifted her. Sergio and Naima cuddle up on Naima's couch and soon Sergio falls asleep in Naima's arms. Once Sergio is peacefully asleep, Naima gets up from the couch and goes to her room for some peace of mind, but instead she briefly suffers from a panic attack. After some time, Sergio follows Naima's muffled cries and comes to calm Naima down. Naima stops crying, but the situation does not get better with Sergio starting to get anxious over her mother's arrival. Sergio tells Naima to cook something and she herself goes to take a shower. Sergio and Naima get ready for Sergio's mom's arrival and soon the bell rings. Sergio opens the door for her mom, welcomes her warmly, and introduces her to Naima. The three of them are having breakfast together. Things are going good until Sergio and her mom have an argument over Sergio's life choices. Sergio gets upset and she leaves the table. Sergio's mom then turns to Naima and tells her that she believes canoodling to be impersonal, something that is far from love. Things get awkward and the atmosphere remains tense until Sergio's mom leaves. After Sergio's mom leaves, Naima joins Sergio in bed who has been lying down for a while. It's only been a few minutes when they hear a knock on the door. It's Sergio's mom who has forgotten her iPad and has come back to take it with her. Sergio's mom comes inside herself, takes her iPad, and when she's about to leave, she peeks through the opening of Naima's bedroom. Naima catches Sergio's mom's eyes and then moves to cuddle Sergio and kisses her until Sergio's mom leaves. Although Sergio's mom has left them, tension remains between Naima and Sergio. Naima starts to get distant and Sergio knows something is wrong. Sergio mentions that her friends Kathy and Faye are going on a trip to Europe for Christmas and she suggests that the two of them go with them. But Naima brushes it off, saying it's something far in the future. Instead, Naima suggests doing an orgy. Although Sergio is uncomfortable with the idea, she still agrees. A few days later, Naima and Sergio meet with Kathy and Faye and the four of them engage in an orgy. Only a few minutes in, Naima gets overwhelmed by the situation and she leaves the house. After some time, Naima comes back in and she tries to make up for her behavior by offering to talk about the situation, but Kathy and Faye leave. Things get more strained between the two and they suffer a major fallout. Naima locks herself in the bathroom. In retaliation, Sergio defecates in a pan just as she used to as a child to piss off her mom. Sergio then takes the pan and shoves it in Naima's face. Naima and Sergio end up arguing. Once things calm down a bit, Sergio accuses Naima for not being honest during their relationship. Naima finally confesses that she does not want to continue on with their relationship. The two of them break a few tears and then Sergio leaves. Later in the night, it is Sergio's music showcase. Sergio's mom is also there along with her friends, Kathy and Faye, but Naima does not show up. Sergio sings an acapella version of Elvis Presley's song, Suppose. The movie comes to an end with Naima driving around her neighborhood aimlessly until she sees a stray dog. Naima rescues the dog and decides to keep it. Sometimes one needs to work on themselves before embarking on a relationship with another person. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next recap. Until next time.